Hi friends, I have had about a million requests for how to set up my images that I use during my lives on TikTok. And I finally had the smart, I was given the smart idea of putting this video up on YouTube for people to access so they don't have to send it to people every single time they ask. So this is gonna be a super quick tutorial on how to set up a graphic for your TikTok lives that is gonna be in the foreground with you in the background with lots of good information that your audience can use to access whatever resources you have for them. So I start here in Canva and I start with a phone wallpaper template. And I just use that size to use as a reference for what's gonna fit on the screen during the live. So just a blank phone template. You can just, you can search for phone wallpaper, phone wallpapers and pick whatever. And just, I just get rid of everything that's on the template and just leave the background white because we're gonna save it as a transparent background anyway. When you are setting this up, so this works really well for me because I, when I'm live, it's usually my face right about here and all of these graphics are around me. And so what I do, mine's a little bit busy. It doesn't have to be this busy. You can leave this whole part here off if you want and just have your information here with your website and some information about what you have as a resource. But I keep, I have a few different variations of this. This one is when I'm doing a live and I'm talking about the zero to one K workshop. So I have information about that and I ask people to tell me their niche and I'll generate a target audience and digital product idea for them. So it, that does a really nice job of making the live interactive in a simple way. I don't have to keep asking the audience to do the same thing over and over again. It's on the screen throughout the whole live. Whenever somebody pops in, they can read it and they can decide to give me their niche if they'd like to. I also use this one when I do a work along. So if I do a work along, it's supposed to be quiet work, even though I usually talk through the whole thing. But this one has a simple explanation of what the work along is. They can ask their questions. I've still got the reference to the free opt-in that's gonna be up in my profile. I do like to have my name, what I help with, and I put a link to my website just in case TikTok takes away my link in bio during the live, which does happen from time to time. So those are the two different options that I have now. This works really well for me again, because it's just me talking. If you are doing something different than talking to the camera, if you're a crafty person, if you are a kitchen cooking person, you are going to need all of this room for whatever craft it is that you're doing. So you'll see when I show you on the phone, what this looks like when you're actually live, you might find that just this corner up here, is the only space that you can use. So you might have to condense this quite a bit, condense the information as much as possible, and you'd have it somewhere up in this corner. But if you're doing talking to the camera, there's you've got lots of like options for what you wanna do. And if you don't want this much stuff on the screen, you can just take that off. And then you have a lot of space just for, your, for you. But still, this is gonna, if you use this, and you're doing some type of a, like the camera facing down over a craft or over your kitchen counter or whatever, this is gonna be a problem. It will definitely be in the way. So it's this upper left corner that's probably gonna be your best friend if you're doing that type of video. Let me get that back so I have it next time I need it. There we go. So you start with this, okay? I am going to, what I do with this is I download it. So we'll go share, download. And I, before I get to the share download, all I do here is this is a, I added an element. This is just a rectangle. This is just text added. This is text added with an effect in the background. I made, I did background and I did that light green. This is again, just text with the light green background. This is a rec, this is text. This is a background, a rectangle for the background and an arrow. So super simple elements that I'm using in Canva. Like this is nothing super fancy, I promise. Okay, so once it's, you have yours all set up and what you will probably have to do is get it set up. Usually like having this in about two thirds of the way down, having this orange part about two thirds of the way down is gonna be a pretty good spot to have it. You'll lose some of your comments. They'll get stuck in here but you can always scroll through the comments. I would much prefer to have this information like readily visible than worry about the comments going behind it a little bit. So once you have it set up, you will download this and go put it in TikTok and see what it looks like. If anything is out of place, if anything's covered up and you don't want it to be, come back to Canva, adjust it a little bit and go test it again. So it does take a little bit of a time to get it just right, but it won't take, we're talking 20, 
minutes, 30 minutes tops to get the whole thing ready. So once I have it all set up the way that I want it, I go to share. We're going to go to down and make sure you do transparent background so that when we have it uploaded, you'll be able to see you. I only want this first page. So first page, you might not have two pages. You might do a bunch of these though, depending on what you're talking about in your live and then done to download it. And now we are going to move over to the phone so that I can show you what you do with this on TikTok. But, and before we do that, you're going to download this on my iPhone. I can just do an airdrop. So I download the picture, I open the picture, I download it, I airdrop it to my iPhone. Whatever you need to do on an Android to get something from your computer onto your phone, do that. Email it, text it to yourself, whatever you need to do. Okay, I'm gonna move over to the phone. Okay, so here we are in TikTok. I airdropped that graphic that I made in Canva to myself on my phone. If you have an Android, you can, I guess, email it to yourself or text it to yourself, however you can get it to yourself. And, before, so I'm here in a regular TikTok video. I'm gonna click on live so that we're in the live, like kind of staging area before we hit go live, okay? Don't do this after, you can't do this after you hit go live. If you hit go live before you set up your graphic, you're gonna have to leave and come back and do it out here. So we are going to not hit go live. We are going to hit effects, which is that little smiley face. And now we have the green screen effects or all the different effects up that you can use during a TikTok live. We're looking for green screen. So I'm gonna scroll from trending. I'm just gonna scroll over to green screen. And of the green screen effects, what I'm looking for is this second one in the second row. It's half a face with a white kind of like hat with an arrow coming out of it. So I'm gonna click on that one. And now we have Mona Lisa in the background and I have my little picture here. This little me right here is going to go away. But first I'm going to add my graphic. I just airdropped it, so it's right here. Click that. Okay, so because I did that as um, transparent, there's nothing between me and it's just the graphics in me. And obviously this me, which is the last thing we're going to do before we hit live. We're going to grab your other you with your finger. See, I can move it around. And I'm gonna fling her off to the side and she's completely gone, the other me. My other me is completely gone. Now, when I hit live, which I will do for a second, what's gonna happen is, let's just do it. I'm only gonna stay live for a second because I have a live tonight. So I'm gonna go live and now we're live. And it was up here, like most of that is gone. So I have a lot of like real estate for my face. These two things up here are gonna, if you can't put your graphic down here, this is the best place to do it. So this is what it looks like. You can see the comments go a little bit into the into the bottom part of the graphic, but I can scroll and see what I need to see. I wanna to try to get out of here before anybody shows up. It keeps things pretty much clean. The Once the comments start moving, you can't, it doesn't really block anything. So this works perfectly. If you have questions, let me know down below and let me know what you think. This works so well for me when it comes to getting email subscribers, sale. This graph leads to my workshop and that works perfectly because it's pointing directly to where you can go to get it. And that's what I'll be talking about in the live. So it works out great. If you have questions, let me know down below. Hit the subscribe button, please. And that's it. Good luck.